Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for November 5th, 2020. Yesterday, we saw extraordinary bullishness, just the bulls buying with um, just phenomenal energy yesterday, pushing the indexes back above its 50-day moving average. However, we had a little bit of a selling wave going into the close. And this morning, we are all fired up again this morning. So what does that mean for today? How do we approach this day? Well, let's grab ourselves something to drink, settle in, and let's get ready for the Thursday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. So this morning, everyone, it looks as if um, we will be bringing in President Biden here soon. Legal challenges, of course, are cropping up all over the place. And it would appear, according to reports, that we may not actually know who the president is going to be. And this uh, legal challenges and things may not be resolved until end of November, first part of December. So we still have an awful lot of um, news-driven uncertainty around those election results. However, what the market seems to really be voting in favor uh, of right now is the gridlock that we are going to see in Congress. Um, it looks like uh, the Republicans will hold on to the Senate and uh, they actually gained ground reducing the power base of the Democrats in the House putting um, whoever becomes president in a very difficult situation where they're really going to have to go across the aisle to get anything done um, in Congress. So uh, market seems to be enjoying that um, at the moment and really rallying substantially. Now, we also had some other things happen here last night that are pretty substantial. The ECB made a decision to inject another $150 billion into bond buying. And we um, also heard that Mitch McConnell um, is willing and interested in getting a stimulus bill um completed by the end of the year. So that's also helping to inspire the markets higher this morning. So let's take a look at some of the technicals here in the chart. Obviously a very news driven market that will probably continue to be quite uh, volatile in its price action. But if we take a look at the technicals, we might see a path as to how we might approach the market for the day. So first off, let's notice here in the Dow, this candle right here is suggesting the morning gap up this morning in the Dow. Let's draw a line across here and notice that we are rapidly approaching um, that downtrend resistance, that bigger downtrend resistance in the chart. Um, certainly we have recovered dramatically. This is um, a massive recovery in the market that we're experiencing here. And let's also notice that in the Dow, we are rallying back into some price resistance in the chart. So there's still some challenges here to be dealt with in the market. And one of the problems that traders are going to have to deal with this morning is the tremendous risk of a pullback. It really, you know, when you, when we see that we have rallied more than 200 points in just a few days, that possibility of a significant pullback um, seems possible. And with those numbers, uh, uh, coronavirus numbers hitting new records yesterday, over 103,000 infections, hospitalizations in several states are becoming critical. Um, we ha kind of have to wonder how much longer we can ride this wave to the upside before we get some kind of a substantial pullback. So traders are going to have to watch that pretty closely and weigh heavily the risks of that potential pullback in the market if they choose to, to jump in and buy. Watch that pretty closely um, as we approach those resistance. However, now saying that, we have dramatically improved the technicals of the chart. Now yesterday you can see we rallied just a, a, a stupid amount yesterday in, in the Dow. And by the end of the day, notice that the sellers brought us back down below that 50 day moving average. But with those new hopes of stimulus, ECB injecting money, things like that, we're getting a substantial gap up this morning. So let's take a look at that and just realize that we 
technically, we are looking much, much better. That worry where we were crossing over and that 50-day moving average starting to turn lower, we have that possibility now that any rest or pullback in the market could hold that 50-day moving average and we could start to improve the technicals here in the charts. Let's take a look at the SPY, SPY. Also a very similar pattern, um, except we held on to our 50-day moving average yesterday. So that 50-day moving average rolling like this, we shot right above that yesterday as if it wasn't even there. And we're back up here this morning testing the resistance of the downtrend. So once again, we have to be cognizant of the fact that technicals are really improving here in the chart, but we also have this extreme move to the upside, which lends that potential risk of a substantial pullback uh, that could come in the market if we just kind of wake up to the coronavirus problems and the impacts that we might be seeing in that um, that could certainly pull us back now if we do pull back let's take a look at this price support right here in the spy that pullback right in here would be a substantial pullback but it would be a pullback that would be very constructive if we could pull back and hold into that area and that also holds above the 50-day moving average so that could be very constructive for the market. Let's take a look at the Qs. QQQ, extraordinary strength yesterday in those markets. Um, techs surging substantially yesterday. And as you can see, we are this morning with this massive gap up open that we're looking at here in the NASDAQ, looking to actually break the downtrend here in the chart. We will have to recognize the fact that we do have a price resistance level right there, however, and this massive gap up could also run into a bit of profit taking wave. So kind of consider that carefully, uh, be really careful about chasing such a big extraordinary move in the market. Um, however, our technicals once again dramatically improved by the fact that we're breaking back or well above our 50-day uh, moving average here again. In any rest or pullback, we can see some pretty good support levels right through here. So any rest or pullback in here um, certainly gives um, us a pretty good indication that we could find some support and hold above that 50-day. So technically, um, much, much better. We just have to be careful with the chase of this big uh, bump up today. Let's take a look at IWM. Now, IWM is looking better and better. And I got to tell you, I think IWM may actually be one of the indexes that could start to substantially surge. And that is because we are uh, beginning to see um, oil sector prices and, and financial uh, sector prices starting to rise just a little bit. We're definitely going to need those if we're going to sustain a rally in the market. So take a look at this. If we, if we really are um, looking at the technicals of the chart and price action here, we also have to consider this major uh, downtrend resistance that we see in the chart and this substantial price resistance that we see right in here. So if we can pop on through that level and hold that as support, that would be really, really significant. We also have to worry about the possibility that we could fail at that resistance and pull back. And because we've had such an extraordinary move up, uh, a little rest or pullback would not be out of, out of the ordinary or um, all that unexpected. So watch that level closely up here. That could be kind of an interesting thing. And it would be really nice to get the Russell back engaged in the market and kind of catching up here with the other indexes. Let's take a look at our VIX. Now, VIX finally made a little bit more sense yesterday, selling off substantially. And we really needed to see that happen on that big bullish move in the market. We needed that, that fear starting to come out of the market. So what do we got going on here? Well, the one of the things that I have talked about several times is the break of that downtrend is a pretty important deal um, in the chart and pulling back to test that area right in here as support could also be a significant area. If we do start seeing some a selling wave, a bit of profit taking wave in the market, we actually could see us respond. 
um, off of that uh, downtrend support. So watch that closely. However, I don't think with the kind of rampant bullishness that we're seeing right now that we would really expect a surge um, all the way back up unless there's some news event uh, that would create that. But we will wanna watch this level right in here as some price resistance through that area. If we do bounce up, we could um, also take that and then start to fail back down. And we really need to see uh, that VIX starting to calm down here. It would be a nice change. Let's take a look at T2122, which is the four week new high, new, no rate, new low ratio. Now, we obviously went from oversold um, in kind of an extreme oversold condition to an extreme overbought situation. And this morning we're extending that even more. Um, so we may be all the way up in here this morning on the open in that extreme level. What that tells us, not necessarily, it doesn't give us the clue here in T2122 that we should expect an absolute collapse all the way back down. While that is still possible, it doesn't seem likely right now with the, with the wild bullishness that we're seeing in the market. However, it does give us that hint or clue that we may have pushed this rally a little bit too far too fast. And that possibility of a profit taking wave, a little selling pullback, or even a consolidation is possible. So traders are gonna to wanna to be really, really careful chasing in this morning. I know that fear of missing out is a very, very strong emotion and everyone is probably feeling it um, hard the last couple of days if you are not long in this market. But be careful here, chasing into resistance highs and chasing into a move that, that pushed the Dow well over 200, 2,000 points in just a few days is a dangerous place to be playing. So watch that close. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. And our economic calendar does have a few things that we need to be paying attention to, some big news events. Now, luckily the Econo Day uh, website is back up today and um, I have the Econo Day calendar. And as you can see, we've got a few things to be paying attention to. We've got jobless claims that will be coming here at 8.30. Right now, consensus is expecting that to just moderate a tiny little bit in that, however, if that should happen to start to rise that will add to the concerns of the big increase in coronavirus um, infection so watch that closely could be a sensitive number for the market um, whether we remain bullish today or start to pick up a little bit of selling also keep an eye on productivity and cost of the natural gas report but i don't expect those to move the market at all the big news of the day is obviously going to be the fomc and the anticipation that they could lower rates or inject more money into the market right now that it, it would seem like the odds of them doing that are pretty low um, they will probably encourage Congress to move forward and get a stimulus bill, but you never know. So we'll want to watch that. Um, expect some significant price volatility around that announcement. And then also the Fred, Fed press conference. We always see some pretty substantial volatility around that. Fed balance sheet comes in after market close, but I wouldn't expect the market to even care about that. We know that the Fed has, is carrying massive trillions and trillions of dollars of debt. Um, as we continue to try and prop up the market, no one seems to care about debt anymore. Um, as long as we can get governments to continue to spend, we're going to keep pumping the market. Let's take a look at our earnings calendar today. Now, our earnings calendar is absolutely massive today. Um, over 300 companies reporting. Um, so there is no way that I can cover um, even a portion of the com uh, companies that are reporting today that could move the market around. So if you want to catch um, the... Um, and see the full list of notable reports, jump over to the morning blog. All you have to do is click that link that's right underneath the uh, title of the video that will take you over to that morning blog and you can see those um, ticker symbols that um, could move the market around and may be of interest to you 
um, today. So uh, I'm going to go over a few. Um, we have DDD. DDD will be reporting today, and I'm just going to go through these very quickly, not do much of an analysis of anything. We're going to see BABA. BABA is going to report today. It looks like um, we had a big pop and drop. Um, this is today's candle, so a big pop and drop um, reaction so far to that earnings event. Watch that closely. Um, we're going to hear from uh, BMY. Bristol Myers looks like they're gapping higher this morning. Looking up, we're going to hear from uh, the big manufacturer, um, Beckton Dickinson, BDX, um, who will be reporting today. It looks like it is trying to pop a little bit higher um, in that chart. So watch that closely. They're a medical device manufacturer. Um, we will also hear from Consolidated Edison today. Might want to take a look at that. Looks like it is uh, dropping here a little bit this morning, uh, possibly in reaction to its report. We're going to hear from um, Dominion Energy. Several energy companies um, will be reporting today. Keep an eye on that. We're going to hear from the mobile gaming platform, Glue. Um, you might want to keep an eye on that. We've got Herbalife um, reporting. We have Papa John's reporting. Uh, this morning. We will hear from Monster uh, Beverages. That will be an interesting report. Looks like they're moving up. That could also help affect um, like Coca-Cola, PepsiCo, things like that. So watch that closely. And we um, will hear from a um, coronavirus um, um, favorite um, we're going to hear from Peloton uh, today, so keep an eye on that. So there's just a few of them that we will be report uh, that we'll be reporting today. There are obviously many, many more like Take Two Interactive, um, EA Sports. We've got um, um, Square SQ. Um, um, STMP, um, TMUS, um, Uber. We've just got a, a plethora of <laughs> earnings events the, today that could move the market around. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up. But before we do that, everyone, if you could do me a favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up. Um, you know, the purpose of these videos is not to provide any prediction. It's not to provide any um, hype to the market whatsoever. What it is meant to do is really look at the technicals and try to determine how we might want to approach the market for today. Now, I've been doing this personally for a long, long time and having been able to trade full time for a living for 15 years. And if you find these to be helpful, if you guys could also click that thumbs up button and leave a brief comment, that helps us continue to, to grow. And I really want, do want to ask if you could do me a favor, please share this video out there as we're trying to grow the channel, continuing to move along. Um, every time that you share a video like that, it helps us reach more folks. So if you have friends, family, um, other, other folks that you work with in trading, please share that video out there and help us continue to grow. And I want to say thank you to everyone who does. Now, taking a look at some stocks that could be setting up, we've got to be really, really careful here because a lot of these stocks have um, tremendously extended to the upside. So we're going to want to be really careful with that. However, there are some stocks that didn't get the massive push to the upside and um, are setting in some pretty good places. Take a look at Walmart. Walmart here now, I, I must admit that I have a bit of a bias here on Walmart. Um, let me show you this. I've actually been holding a long-term Walmart position since that little green arrow right there. I'm still holding this trade. Now, I do hold some longer term positions, but what I've done recently is I added to my Walmart trade. So I do have a, a more recent swing position in Walmart. So let's take a look at what we've got going on here. We, we are rallying back up, trying to break that downtrend. Retail trying to pick up here. If we're going to get more stimulus uh, by the end of the year, there is that possibility that we boost some of these retailers heading into the holiday season. So watch that close. If that can hold this downtrend as support in here, either consolidate or pull back, then we might be able to catch that next move up, which would be kind of a resumption 
of that upside trend. So watch that closely. Now there is a complication in here because this is going to report on 1117 and we're always going to want to be paying attention to those earnings reports. Other retailers trying to show some signs of recovery. Take a look at Target breaking that downtrend here breaking back above a price support in the chart. Any rest or pullback in here would set up an opportunity potentially in target for that upside move. Once again, you'll want to pay attention to that. Another place you might want to look, we, we had a lot of volatility um, in these uh, just recently with the market, but let's take a look at FedEx. We know that these companies are going to probably be extremely busy with coronavirus numbers surging around the country, everybody buying online. So let's take a look at those and watch this closely. Um, we had quite a little bit of price volatility in here, but let's notice FedEx is right back up here testing some price resistance. If we can hold this downtrend as support and find the energy to perk on through, we may be able to get that resumption in uh, those stocks. So FDX. Take a look at other stocks like BLL, uh, shipping, um, uh, shipping containers. Um, they're also holding up extremely strong and not a big surprise because everybody is, is shipping stuff all over the United States, all over the world anymore. Everybody's buying online. So watch that closely. We shot up hard. We had kind of an ugly little pullback yesterday, but keep a close eye in here. Any rest or pullback that holds um, in this upside trend would provide that nice opportunity to the upside. So keep an eye on charts like that that have that exposure in that shipping area. Also, we want to kind of take a look at um, some of the precious metals. Now, we're starting to get some of these precious metals picking up. And as you see, notice here, we've been uh, watching this one here as we're testing gold GLD, as it's testing this resistance level in the chart. This morning, we're trying to surge just a little bit. So let's watch that carefully. Um, if we can hold up in here, we may actually start to get that little rally coming back into here um, to the upside move. And one of the things that's helping that is, let's take a look at TBT. Um, the ultra short on um, um, US treasuries, you can see treasuries sinking here this morning. That means TLT is actually on the rise. US Treasury bond fund, you can see trying to move up. So as bonds are um, reacting and moving around to ECB um, bond purchases, and we got the FOMC today, we might want to keep an eye on these charts like GLD. Also, you might want to take a look. There's some gold um, stocks moving out there, uh, gold miner stocks moving out there that you might want to keep an eye on. Take a look at Newmont Mining. NEM, um, nice surge up, breaking the downtrend in that chart. So now any rest or pullback in here that holds above that downtrend and holds this price support sets up that opportunity for NEM to be moving higher. Keep a look, take a look at some of those uh, miners out there. They're looking pretty good. Um, watch those closely. So there's a few things for you to pay attention to. I'm running out of time this morning. I apologize. I had a quite a few more to potentially point out, but watch some of those stocks closely and remember these are not a recommendation to buy or sell any security everyone i want to wish you all a fantastic day and i want to also put it out there to please be careful with this coronavirus surging around the country the the potential impacts and i just don't want to see um, you guys ending up sick or uh, problems with that virus so be very careful be safe out there and we'll see you right back here bright and early friday morning y'all take care have a great day and we'll talk to you all soon